With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, for any two vectors a and b, we have to prove that a dot b is always less than equal to mod a square into mod b square. And hence, we have to show that this condition is true. So first of all, let us assume angle between between a vector and b vector b theta. Let theta be the angle between a vector and b vector. So we can write a dot b is equal to magnitude of a into magnitude of b only b cos theta. Now we square both sides. Squaring both sides, we'll get here a dot b whole square would be equal to this square would be mod a square mod b square cos square theta. Now we all know that cos theta is always greater than equal to minus 1 but less than equal to 1. This is the range for cos theta. So if we square cos square theta, it will always be greater than equal to 0 but less than equal to 1. So from here we can write cos square theta is always less than equal to 1. Now if we multiply both sides multiply both sides by magnitude of a square into magnitude of b square. So here we will get magnitude of a square into magnitude of b square cos square theta is less than equal to here we will get magnitude of a square into magnitude of b square. Now this is what this is a dot b we have already written here. So from here we will get a dot b whole square is always less than equal to magnitude of a square into magnitude of b square. So this is first condition is proved. Now we need to prove the second condition that is we have to prove this part. So in order to prove this part we will use this condition and let us assume a1 is equal to a vector is equal to a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and similarly we assume b vector is equal to b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap. Now let us put the values of a and b here in this equation. So substituting those values here, we will get a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k. a dot b is there, so dot with b vector that is b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k. This whole square is less than equal to this. So it is less than equal to mod a square into mod b square. What is mod a? Mod a is under root a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square. So mod a square would be a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square into mod b square would be b1 square plus b2 square plus b3 square. Now in order to calculate this dot product, we all know that i will be multiplied with j, j with j, i will be multiplied with i, j with j and k with k. Because i dot j is 0, i dot k is 0, i, j, k and mutually are mutually perpendicular vectors. So this implies a1 will be multiplied with b1, so we will get a1, b1. a2 will be multiplied with b2, so we will get a2, b2. And a3 will be multiplied with b3, so we will get plus a3, b3. Whole square is less than equal to this thing. a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square into b1 square plus b2 square plus b3 square. So hence the second condition is also proved. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.